Jaunt is a wad by Sparktimus or Sparktimus that so far has just the one map, so we'll give that a shot. It's called, um, what's it called? Uh, oh, no, it doesn't have a name, it's just Jaunt Map 1. This is PR Boom Plus. Here, 92 monsters, 5 secrets, 53 items. Alright. Yeah, obviously it's kind of tech basey here. Um, pretty, pretty well detailed. Looks pretty nice. I like the slime going down into this poison area here. Um, some nice, uh, ceiling heights, different textures going on. I like this half-open door feature here. Double door, kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I like when, this is, this looks to be a, you know, this is obviously not super wide open, but here we've got, looks like three potential routes. So we'll try this way. I heard a human somewhere. So the blue key is back there. Yeah, these stairs, I might just align them to be smaller so that you don't have to have that one extra little section there. Not a huge deal, obviously. Or you could just split the lines differently so that it works. Flashing lights up there, kind of cool effect. Triangle stair staircase. All right, we'll go this way. Not a ton of shells. Kind of a cool area. Uh, there's another switch. Here it is. Uh, it just goes back up there. Okay, so in here there's gotta be something. Okay, see this here. Um with the blue markers there, I really thought that was the blue switch. I almost did not hit that at all. And that may have left me, if I hadn't, that may have left me very confused and frustrated later on. 
So I would probably find a way to make that not look like the blue switch. Oh. Any more? Oh, okay. This appears to be one pixel misaligned. Um, actually it's... Yeah, see on this side you got a little bit of the gray wall, and on this side it's all silver light, so probably try to make that the same on both sides. Okay, so maybe the blue uh, blue texture there is telling me that that enables me to get the blue key. I'm sure that's probably what that's trying to communicate. Your Sean's here could use. I mean, it's a very little thing, but you just align your Sean's here to look a little better, maybe. All right, so let's go back in here. Okay, yeah. I mean, maybe if this is like gonna be a a quick map one in the big megawad, but that was not. A good trap, really. I mean, demons that far away from me. How are they ever gonna hurt me? I mean, I've got this much space to shoot them. I could have killed them both with the, my pistol from there with no threat at all. Um, maybe, maybe if you get the blue key and then, now you turn the lights off, and those are specters. That that makes it uh, better, maybe. Okay, now I finally have a hint of a secret. I haven't noticed anything yet that I thought was for sure a secret. I'm sure I've probably missed... Oh, wow, well, five. I'm sure I've probably missed at least one already, if not more. But now I know somewhere there's a secret that leads over there. Ah. Yeah, so that was, that was kind of well done. Just a classic... That's a very classic Doom 1 type secret. Um, I feel like you don't see a lot of those in PWODs where you, um, have a walk, a, a W, R line, where something drops down. Actually, it might have been a W, 1. Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, now it's, it looks like this map's gonna open up a little bit more now. It was kind of compact all the way. Yeah, there's another secret. Switch hidden behind a tight space. Classic. I'm guessing there's probably a chain gun secret that I missed. If there's no chain gun in this map, then you really don't need any ammo boxes at all. Um, but I'm guessing there's a chain gun, possibly a secret chain gun that I missed somewhere. Ow, oh, don't shoot me. I like the chairs. Where? Where? Oh, there he is. Hey, there's my chain gun. Okay. 
We'll deal with them when we get to them. Ah, uh, there's a custom midi here. Of some sort. So that's always cool. Not that I care all that much about music. Tell me. Tells me I missed a secret there. Should I go back and do it? Oh, this map's not too long. Let's go back and look for it. I swear I tried that. <laughs> oh, there they are. Alright, classic. Um, that's maybe a little bit sudden to have this tiny bit of... Is that a little bit of door track? I think that's a tiny little bit of door track and then boom, ash wall. I don't know, at least maybe make that a little bit thicker for a little bit more transition and um, you probably meant for that to be the metal floor rather than whatever rock ceiling that is all right what else did I miss I think I got four now don't I oh, no three there's one. Oh, I see. Hey, I oh, know it's over there. How do I get into there? this area. Alright, I'm gonna jump down here. I'm gonna save it in case it's death. Um, yeah, sure. that rocket launcher. Where is it? Huh. That's not fair. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. That was, yeah, that was a very, again, that was another very Doom 1 kind of secret, kind of uh, roundabout. So I think I found all the, no, there's still one more. Oh well. I guess we can have a quick look. Oh. There it is. Oh no, that's where I need to go. That's the exit. Um, yeah, I don't know where the last one is. No big deal. Let's just uh, have a quick little look around. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have too much to say about this map because it's just kind of... It's just kind of quintessential Doom. It feels a lot like Doom 1. Obviously, there's a couple of commandos and uh, Hell Knight there at the end. Hey, where do I go? I'm lost now. But uh, it's mostly a Doom 1 feel to it. There we go. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty fun. I'm, I'm glad that this is going to be a, uh, a series of multiple maps, because uh, that's just kind of a fun little map. Um, so, it, uh, yeah, the, the, only, the only significant negative I saw with that map, and it's really not that significant, was that, that key, or that switch towards the beginning. That switch that actually allowed you to access the blue key ended up looking like it was the blue switch. So I could see players avoiding that, thinking, oh, that's the blue switch. And then they would, you know, maybe get frustrated and confused there. Not that big a deal. Um, I, I liked the secrets. There was always, there was always like a hint. You could always tell that, uh, for, in most cases anyway, you could tell that I'm going to be able to get there somehow, I'm not sure exactly how, but probably in this general vicinity, and then you get the computer area map. And I like it that, even with the computer er computer area map, the secrets aren't all just completely obvious. Because if you give a computer area map, usually the secrets become super obvious. Obviously, I only came away with four out of five, so there was still one elusive secret. So that was cool. Um... Yeah, it was kind of compact at first, opened up in the second half. Um, pretty pretty fun. It uh, it almost played like, like two different maps kind of together, the first map up to the blue key and then the second map after that. But it worked out pretty well. There was enough, even in a kind of compound, uh, compact map, there was enough to do, enough different areas to go around um, that made it interesting and not too linear. And then it was pretty well detailed as well. It, it, there was a lot of uh, ups and downs, staircases, different uh, heights of floors and ceilings going on. Some nice detailing. The only thing I, I think I maybe missed was uh, maybe more lighting variation. It would have been cool. Like I said, in the room with the demons, that encounter is, is pretty weak. Uh, if you turn that into a specter trap with lights out, yeah, that's granted that's kind of cliche, but it just still makes that a better encounter. Um, the combat was pretty easy throughout, um, so, like I said, maybe this is, I mean, it is, it's obviously, it obviously is a map one, so maybe the difficulty's gonna get harder, and I did only play it on Hurt Me Plenty as well, um, but, uh, but I, I liked it, I, I liked the, the flow of the map, the gameplay, it wasn't like, it wasn't too easy that it was just, like, boring, it also wasn't grind happy either, like, I'm gonna put one Baron in a, 800 by 800 room and give you a shot. <laughs> it wasn't that either. So, you know, it was it was fun. I liked it. I liked Jaunt. I look forward to more maps in, in Jaunt.